I mean, this this could be an ongoing uh, yeah. discussion. Like, I, I, I can tell you why um, my argument is nice in theory, but will not yeah. happen in practice. And it's just because we don't have proper management of our resources. Because mm-hmm. you mean to tell me, um, we literally get in money from the ground, mm-hmm. right? No other Caribbean island has this influx of free money, this mm-hmm. oil. We did nothing for this oil. We just... Beyond existing, that mm-hmm. was the only thing we did to get this oil. So this is free money coming into our economy, right? So if we were properly managing our economy, I think our economy should be able to be good without this natural resource, mm-hmm. which other countries do have. So the fact that we have this, that is what, maybe a trillion dollars in total mm-hmm. by today. It's like, why aren't we not doing better? And it's because we just see in this year and we... Um, so since, since I've been about... I don't know, five or ten years old like here and more mm-hmm. diversify in the economy. Yep. And you will come tell me 25 years later now where well, we can't do this because we're so dependent on yeah. oil, you know? I, I know it's not your fault, eh, but <laughs> 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 I just say like this, this, this is something that do add up. It's like, yes, we know we're dependent on this. Yes, we know need, we need to diversify. But why are we not doing it? Why haven't we done it mm-hmm. in 30 years, you know? Mm-hmm. We have 30 years of opportunity to do it. So what, what are we going to do? Right. when that runs out so and that's why you are supposed mm. to be using the money that you get from the revenues from what we have right now exactly. to start to fuel other industries mm. no pun intended but um, <laughs> in terms mm. of let's say um, going solar mm-hmm. I don't understand why this country cannot go fully solar mm-hmm. or at least have up to 90% solar energy yeah. or renewables rather um, let's have it brought as that renewables in this country mm-hmm. it's for some, a very ambitious um, goal or agenda, but mm-hmm. it is possible. It is very possible. You've had, um, thanks to the intervention of um, Elon Musk and his companies, mm-hmm. you've had, I think, is in Morocco, an entire city um, powered by solar energy or yeah, renewables. Yeah, I know in, I think it's Australia as well. Um, I know the problem with solar power is that the, the supply of the solar power does not really meet the demand. Mm-hmm. of the energy needed that's because you have storage so yeah you have so these yeah so what he did he built the the giga is it giga what uh, mm-hmm. anyway yeah he built this big power plant and mm-hmm. that was able to store it and that's why he could run it entirely off of solar yeah but i, yeah, c- I yeah. can imagine just driving up the highway um to, to port of spain and looking on my right and seeing um central trinidad where we had those rice fields and so mm-hmm. on um just being solar power, um, mm-hmm. solar um, cells, those those panels. I can see an entire field of that. Um, and mm-hmm. persons may think, well, oh gosh, look how that looking. And the environment, this, that, and the other, is doing a lot more for us mm-hmm. than, than what you may think it's doing visually for you. Mm-hmm. Um, and that could be enough to power because we are... 1.4 million people. When you think mm-hmm. about New York, when you think about London, when you think about these major cities that has... Multiple times the amount of people that we have. We are an entire country. They are Mm. just a city. And they run more efficiently than we do here. Mm. So when you think about the mayor of New York being the equivalent of the prime minister of Trinidad and Tobago Mm. and being able to do certain things there and they're having things run efficiently, why can't we do it in Trinidad and Tobago?